So instead of trying to be less bad, it's about being good. And this is where the building has been done. But what we have is the opposite. <laughs> this is why it's key. We need to define where we are. So we analyze products and we look what is in these products. And here you can see the off-casing of an electric shaver. Yeah? Every chemical here, every signal what you see is a chemical. So this shaver is basically designed for the Taliban's. Yeah? Yeah? Because you need to keep it, keep it one meter away, not to exceed the European occupational health standards. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Because the emissions, emissions are so high. Yeah? So if you see it, it's shaver made in Europe, yeah? Yeah, it's not much better because of global sourcing and lean production, people buy stuff. And in the left, we could easily identify more than 60 different carcinogens. In the right, there are only five carcinogens. Okay, you can say, is it better to be shot five in times instead of 10 times or 50 times? But both, it's not really what we want. Yeah. This is why we need to define where we are and we need to look where we want to go. Yeah. Here, it's Polly Pocket from Mattel. And to be clear, whatever you learn, Mattel is definitely the worst company I can imagine. Because, because it's not, look, every person who commits child abuse, at least you have a person there. Yeah? But this is here a company who really destroys the health of children systematically for 15 years. And to be clear, there are not many companies like that. If you look over all of this planet, there are not more than 10 big multinational companies which are as cynical as Mattel. So the normal companies, the other companies like Philips, for example, like DSM, like Axo, they are good people. They try their best within their frame conditions. But that's a t completely different culture. And so I used the opportunity to talk to, to, to President Bush and I said, look, you don't need to go to Iraq. Yeah? Uh, here, when you look for chemical weapons, here they are. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. These are weapons of mass destruction. Yeah? These are, these, this is a problem of homeland security because when you're not able to protect your children against toxic chemicals, yeah, what do you do then? Yeah? This is terrorism. Innocent children exposed to toxic substances. The load, the chemical intake from this off casing is far more than a child would get at any gasoline station. Yeah? So it's not designed for children. And they, they make, they let them produce in China for one dollar and they sell them for 20 euros in Europe. Yeah? And they, we analyze it for 15 years. It's not anyhow that they make a mistake sometimes. Everybody makes mistakes. It's a culture of destruction. Yeah? It's a culture of making profit on, and, and not respecting children. Yeah. So, uh, this is a terrorism, definitely. It, it, innocent children exposed to toxic chemicals. Now, asthma in Europe and the United States is by far the most children's uh, relevant disease. Yeah. It generates a lot of jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Asthma treatment is very expensive. Yeah. Makes jobs, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, more than half of our children are suffering from allergies now at the age of seven already. Makes a lot of jobs, yeah. But it's not the type of quality of life you want to have, or? Albert Einstein's the same thing, yeah. 